According to Feeding South Dakota, over 100,000 South Dakotans are at risk of going hungry every day. And the pandemic has made it even more difficult for families that are in need. It has Tammy Lauren Sulik tonight explaining how the organization has had to switch up how they're giving. Like many businesses and organizations right now, Feeding South Dakota has had to rethink the way that they've been used to doing their jobs. And since the uh, middle of March, uh, you know, we've been in, in full emergency box packing and distribution mode, uh, mode uh, you know, continuing to do drive-by distributions uh, both here in Sioux Falls and, and uh, roughly about 100 uh, communities across the state uh, trying to provide food to those individuals and families that have been uh, impacted by the COVID uh, pandemic. Normally, Feeding South Dakota has food pantries open in Sioux Falls and Rapid City for those in need to come and get food. However, those have been closed since March, and Gasson says he doesn't know when they'll open again. I think we realize that um, you know now is a, is a good time just to leave our pantries closed and really shift our models uh, to that of doing more um, neighborhood-style distributions. And so in the coming months, uh, we'll be transitioning from what we're currently doing, which is a central distribution out of the old fairway uh, store here in Sioux Falls, uh, and converting that into uh, neighborhood distributions in multiple neighborhoods across the city in an effort to try to really take food to where hunger is instead of hunger always having had to come to us. The neighborhood distributions have already started in Rapid City. As for mobile distributions across the state, Gasson says he estimates they've been providing food to around 10,000 households each week.